Dawson Ryder with you. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a top video. This is another Dawson's top five. Um, it's I'm venturing out of the realm of Toku for this set, but don't worry to those that are following the Power Ranger Sentai Rider ones. Um, I'm still always going to do those. I'm going to do a lot of different top tens, but this is my first Ben 10 related one because it's actually one that I've gotten quite a few requests for. Um, there's a, a, the most requests I've gotten whenever I put it out there, and even when I haven't, are for theme songs for PR Sentai and Rider, and then actually, most recently, I've gotten quite a few for uh, Top Omnitrix Toys. Um, just a, sort of a general recommendation, so... Um, usually with these top fives, I always say this is my opinion, this isn't a definitive list, and that's still true, but this list is more of a hybrid. I'm not, not saying that this is a definitive best Omnitrix list that should be seen as gospel, but my, what I'm saying for this video is that it's partly my opinion, I mean it's all my opinion, but it's partly my personal preference, and partly more uh, of a review mind, meaning that some of the decisions I came up with weren't factored so much on, I prefer this toy, but it was factored in on, I think this was a better toy, if that makes any sense. Like, it was more, a little bit more objective, so where with most of the top fives it'll be my personal favorites, whereas this one's a combination of personal favorites and a little bit more of the objective, like, um, th this is a bit of a better toy if you like that, if that makes any sense to you. Um, since it's based on a toy, and that might be true if I do anything similar to this in the future. But anyway, uh, let's get to the list. I have a little cheat sheet over here just because I did think about the order a lot, because some of them I do prefer personally, but I think that they had a better, um, some had a better, like I said, objective quality for people. So I always start with honorable mentions. Uh, the only honorable mention I wanted to give in this one was the original series Omnitrix LCD game, which is basically this really large Omnitrix. I reviewed it actually a year, year and a half ago, and it has kind of an LCD game that's sort of similar. I would compare it in a way to like the Digivice games. And I put in the honorable mentions because I think it's kind of a neat thing to have. It's got some cool bits that are actually kind of like the show with the way that the screen shows up. And I think it's kind of a fun thing to have the game on there, but it's not traditionally more like a role play toy. But I do think it was a neat addition and had some really cool things about it. Okay, so um, number five is also a weird one um, because it's not really fully an Omnitrix, but also it is, which is the Ultimatrix chess badge. Um, the Ultimatrix chess badge um, wasn't like a traditional wristwatch Omnitrix, it represented the, the chest area Omnitrix that happens when he transforms, specif specifically for the Ultimatrix, and I just thought that one was a lot of fun. Uh, it had the voices when you pressed it down, like a lot of the Omnitrixes, but I thought it was, it made you really feel like, in a way, like especially for kids, like you're in the show, when you press it you got the voice, and also the four little prongs pressed out like it does when he does the ultimate form, and I, it was very simple, but I thought it was a lot of fun, and when I was thinking about it, I just thought it was a lot more fun than some of the um, other Omnitrixes in uh, Ultimate Alien, which if I do a, a top five worst Omnitrix list, that'll probably come out too, but I, in reflection, uh, a lot of the Omnitrixes in the Ultimate Alien era were very um, disappointing, and I thought that was actually the best Ultimatrix toy to come out of the line for some reason. Okay, number four is Omnitrix Touch version 2. Version 2 is important um, because over the original because uh, it had the correct color scheme, which really bothered me. Like, in the original one, uh, it was, I think, gray, or it was like silver and green, whereas in the show, it's supposed to be white and green. And it was still a little bit different because it was like a see-through green and not a straight-up just green. And there was later Omnitrixes from uh, the Ultimate Alien era, or Ultimatrixes, rather, that were more accurate to the show. But um, this one was, you know, I thought the best version because I thought it was... The, the one I liked most out of the traditional Omniverse Omnitrixes, Ultimatrixes, sorry, I'm going to say Omnitrixes the most, um, but with also having the, the show accurate colors, and and I did like that one. I thought it was imperfect, like a lot of the Ultimate Alien ones, but I thought the, the way they tried to use the touch gimmick, like it has a touch screen type thing in the show, was kind of clever, and it was a bit fun to use, if not imperfect. But the, the if I had to recommend one over the other, I would definitely get the second version, unless you just find the other one dirt cheap, but the, the show your colors was apparently really important to me. Okay, now number three is the Alien Force Ultimate Omnitrix, which was basically the standard Omnitrix um, for that series, the original release, which um, it was a little bit 
you know, not clunky, but large, you know, it wasn't as sleek as it looked in the show, but it looked pretty good, I thought. I thought it looked pretty show accurate, pr pretty cool, and its main way of transforming was little figures you placed on top, and you slammed it down, and you had the voice and all that. And again, it was imperfect. There was definitely things that could have been better about it, Thing, uh, different versions I think they could have tried. I, we didn't get quite as many Alien Force Omnitrix versions as Ultimatrixes, and I think that they could have really improved on that over the years. But I still really liked that one. It definitely was a bit more cumbersome to have to put different figures on there as compared to some of them that just have the voices straight up. Um, but I, I did like it because it... Especially when Alien Force first came out, the hologram was a new concept, and I thought it really showcased that well. Um, and, and I liked the voices in it. Um, so imperfect, but I thought it was fun. And kind of like with the version 1, version 2, um, there was a second version, which, if I remember right, I could be wrong about this part, but I believe the first one had a white light, whereas the second one had a green light, um, which I think was a Toys R Us exclusive. I might be wrong about that, but one thing I know I'm not wrong about is the, the second version that was like a Toys R Us exclusive or a special set or whatever came with an Alien X figure, and you got all ten, whereas the other ones you had to collect the figures, I believe? Uh, but regardless, the only way to get the Alien X figure, if I remember, was from the second set. So if you find the set with all ten figures, that's the way to go for that. Okay, number two is the new Deluxe Omnitrix. Um, and I want to say right off the bat that on a personal level, uh, just of my personal favorites, I would put the ultimate, or the, yeah, the ultimate Omnitrix from Alien Force is my number two. But on an objective level, the new Om Deluxe Omnitrix is actually a really nice toy. It's got good sounds, um, really nice, like, light effects that really capture the, the green glow of the Omnitrix. Um, it, and it's... It's just a really nice Omnitrix toy. Like, the only unfortunate thing about it is from the new reboot, which I'm not as huge of a fan of, and I kind of wish we had a toy on that quality for the original series or any of the others. And But the only thing that really bothers me about it is that the selector is on the top of it and not the bottom, because I'm just i kind of used to that, but that's more of a personal nitpick. But um, it's a really nice Omnitrix toy. Good sounds, good lights, um, really makes it feel like the show. It's one of the better ones done, I think. Um, and... You can still use it as a original series one in a way if you wanted to, because the only real difference is stuff like like um, overflow. But yeah, it was a, it really surprised me how good it was. I didn't think it was going to be awful, but yeah, it was a good one. Um, and number one, personally for me, I could even argue that objectively the the new deluxe Omnitrix is better than this one. But for me personally, and I think a lot quality wise, my number one is the Omnitrix FX from the original series. This was the first deluxe Omnitrix toy released. Um, I liked this one a lot. It was very simple. Um, you know, it didn't have any fancy unlocking features or weird way of going about it. You just popped it up, selected it, it had a tiny silhouette selector, and you didn't have any voices or anything, because we didn't scream out the voices in the original series, but the sounds were, like, 90% accurate to the, the very iconic, uh, sounds that the Omnitrix made in the original series, and I, I felt that for me, it was the best because the sounds and the way that you selected the aliens made it feel most like the show, and I'm very fond of that one. And so for that reason, it is my number one. But anyway, that is about it for my top five Omnitrix toys. I'm thinking about doing a top five Vorse one because there was some stinkers in there, so we'll see about that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm hoping to do more top Ben 10 videos. But uh, until then, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It's Dawson Ryder, signing off.